Shiz, I logged if I was Microsoft. This is actually going to be part two because there was a couple of ideas that I totally forgot to mention. One of the main things that I think Windows Phone could benefit from is the addition of Yahoo services on Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 devices. Think about it. Now, let's say if that partnership never happens. Let's just say, now if you watched the first video, I talked about if Yahoo and Microsoft partnered their Yahoo sign-in in, in um, Windows Live-In, I mean, or Outlook.com, or what is it, Microsoft ID now? Ah, I can't get it right here. If they partnered their Microsoft ID and Yahoo IDs together to make it as if it was one service, but it's actually two different services, let's say that never happens. That never happens, okay? Now, but here is where I really feel where Microsoft can have an edge over all the other devices is if Windows Phone and Windows 8 RT were Yahoo services completely. Now think about this. Okay. If you are a Yahoo user and you want to have the full mobile experience, I'm talking about full and complete mobile Yahoo experience, get a Windows phone. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Microsoft, you should jump on this idea. Seriously. Because... Here's what I'm thinking about, is that the, the news portal, I mean, Microsoft can work with Yahoo and come up with a bunch of applications that is completely for Windows Phone. They can probably port a few of those apps over to iOS and Android as well, you know. But it's, it can be, like, exclusive to Windows Phone and Windows 8. Let's, I mean, okay, instead of me saying... Because that's a lot to say, Windows Phone and Windows 8 RT. So for now, I'm just going to say Windows. So you know I'm talking about both. Now, here's what I'm talking about. If you sign in or add, if you went to Account Settings and add the Yahoo ID, you go to Yahoo Mail and you add your Yahoo Mail ID to your Windows device, it automatically converts and you add it like okay you can set it to um be your default Yahoo email address. Okay, now as you know you can add multiple let's say you have two or three Yahoo email addresses, but you can set a default, you know, like your main Yahoo ID and add it to your Windows phone. And then your entire Windows phone will then become not just a Microsoft phone but also a Yahoo phone, if you want it. If you want to turn it off, just go into account settings where it says default, uncheck the box. So, and I think it should be one of those kind of boxes where, let's say you have three Yahoo email addresses, and none of them has set as default. As default Yahoo ID, you don't have any of those checked. Well, therefore, none of your Yahoo services will work on your phone. So if you don't want that service, you don't have to have it. If all you want is to just to check your Yahoo email. But, okay, here's where, where I think it will be a great advantage for Microsoft. Yahoo Profile, which is now, oh, what is that service called again? Yahoo People or something like that can be integrated into the People Hub. If, you're, if you belong to any Yahoo groups, that is automatically funneled into a group section of the Windows Phone. It can be like a group hub where your Microsoft groups, as well as your Yahoo groups, automatically funnel into that. So you can enjoy all your groups in one hub. And you know, and this is for people who are really into Yahoo groups and um, and MSN groups or whatever that thing is called. You know, and I'm not in front of a computer, so I can't 
look it up and tell you the exact names of these things. But imagine how Windows Phone would really have an advantage over other devices. Yes, there are a lot of Yahoo apps for Android and iOS devices. But if Microsoft partnered with Yahoo and made Windows Phone or well, Windows device an exclusive to Yahoo, and like, okay, on iOS and Android, you can get an app called Yahoo News. You can get an app called Yahoo Mail. And you can check your Yahoo email, and you can... There are a lot of apps for, for that. There are apps for that. Keep those the same. No big deal. But if you add a Yahoo ID set as default onto a Windows device, you're going to add complete, exclusive access. As if that Windows phone is also a Yahoo phone. It will become a Yahoo phone as well. Think about the implications and how that would help Microsoft. Um, there are a lot of Yahoo users out there. A lot of them. And if I add that Yahoo ID, it will automatically know, hey, you want to add Flickr to this as well? And automatically make Flickr my main photo sharing hub. I know that's a feature that's already there, but they can add that too. And so, I, I mean, I just, I just see where if Yahoo got on under that wagon with this, where they can say, do you want a Yahoo phone? Get a Windows phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, and Yahoo can have all of its services added to the Windows phone only if they add the Yahoo ID. And I think a couple of apps should be added by default. News. Um, there's already a news application on the Windows 8 platform, RT platform. So all you got to do is just add Yahoo News to it, and it'll be porting both Microsoft News and Yahoo News into that platform, into that hub, all in one. I'm getting best of both worlds. Okay? Think about it. And then Flickr, of course, I think should be automatically added and when you like it's as if it's already pre installed. Microsoft doesn't have a photo sharing website. So, you know, just go ahead and use Flickr. Forget about, you know, Instagram should be like a download, like an app. And I, I think it should share the photo hub if you download this app, if Instagram ever does uh, get on Windows Phone. But I really think that's just a, you know, it's just a phase, you know, just something that everybody's doing and everybody's like, oh, my God, Instagram. It's just like MySpace. It will, people will get over it. But um, I just see, I mean, it would be a great benefit. Not a, not a whole lot. I mean, it's not going to be a big benefit, but especially if Yahoo advertised on their site, you get a Windows phone, you have a Yahoo phone as well. You got yourself a Yahoo phone. Because all you have to do is add your Yahoo ID to the account settings. Set it as a default and bam. Add a couple more apps that you'd like to have, like groups, you know, and voila, you have a Yahoo phone along with your Windows phone. So if, you, if your company uses Office 365, you have an Outlook.com account, and you also use a lot of different Yahoo services, boom, one phone does it all, right? Because if Yahoo comes up with their own uh, OS, I don't think it's going to succeed, but you never know, though. <laughs> you just really never know. Yahoo may blow, <laughs> blow everybody up. But, I mean, in the foreseeable future, as, as I can see, I really don't think a Windows phone, I mean, a Yahoo phone will do very well but on its own. But I can see Windows phone 
becoming a Yahoo phone. I mean, and it won't be 100% Yahoo phone. I mean, come on, here, see, see my vision here. It, it will just add Yahoo-isms to your phone if you want it. But again, if you don't want that service, just make sure that you don't uh, check the default tab or default box. Just uncheck it and your phone will deactivate as a Yahoo device. It'll just be your Yahoo Mail. That's it. And you have Flickr, you know, that's another account. You just have your Flickr account and that's it. All right, I'm about to pick up some food, so I'm going to end this I love by saying peace out.